Hi everyone, today I will show you how to generate 95% confidence interval around a mean um, in a between group design with two independent uh, samples. Um, and I will show you this uh, in Excel. So suppose you've got group A and group B. Uh, group A scored a mean of 100 and with a standard deviation of 15 uh, in a sample of 78 participants. And, uh, and group B, 108, 18 standard deviation and 79 sample size. All we need to do is to generate the 95% confidence interval around the mean of 100 and 108. So you just need to click on this cell next to 95% confidence interval. Click the equal sign and write CON for confidence and you click on confidence uh, full stop T. Now all you need to do is to populate the gap between the two parentheses. So the alpha level is 0 0.05 that's because we are calculating, calculating a 95% confidence interval. Um, then it asks you for the standard deviation so comma the standard deviation for this for group A is here so just click on that cell then comma again and now it asks you for the size which is the sample size 78 and then just click enter and that's your uh, one of the width of the confidence interval same thing for group B the alpha level standard deviation and uh, sample size now we also need to produce the um, graph for this so all you need to do is to highlight group A and the mean group B with the mean as well insert look for the line graph tab and uh, line with markers here we go now although the uh, for independent sample groups you need to have um, two independent data points so the line graph is not appropriate for this type of design and therefore we're going to modify it a little bit now if you first choose the appropriate chart design so you go on the chart design and choose one that has got a, a y-axis as well so this one doesn't have a y-axis so we'll need to choose the appropriate design I choose this one for now but again because in APA style we are not supposed to have other lines um, vertical lines here in the middle we'll need to remove them as well in any case um, so to remove the these two lines just right click and form a plot area actually no so to remove these vertical lines, all you need to do is to click on the chart and um, add a chart element and go under grid lines and primary major vertical. Now the two lines have been removed from the center. Now we also need to remove this uh, line here because otherwise the um, graph would would be telling us that the two data points are connected with one another but in reality these are two independent samples so we need to remove the line so just click on the line and right click on it and form a data series so you want to click on that tab and you've got a no line option just click on that one then we also want to um, format these data points because they're colored in blue we need to color them in black so just click on marker and uh, for the fill which is the inside of the marker just change the color to black same thing for the border of the marker choose the color black and that's how they are now um, have been edited now what we need to do is to put in the confidence interval which is right here so all you want to do is to click on the add chart element and error bars because excel doesn't provide a an option here for confidence interval you will need to tell excel so click on more error bars options and now we need to customize the length of the ci so click on custom specify values 
and here's where you specify the values for your confidence interval. So the positive error values are the ones at the top. So we'll first tell Excel to produce the upper bound of group A and group B. So you click on that, uh, highlight it, and then you've got the confidence interval for group A and for group B. So highlight and drag. Then click on negative error values, which will produce the lower bound. So highlight and drag, and then click OK. Now the two have been um, generated. Something else that you will need to uh, produce for a um, APA style type graph is the uh, vertical title. So just click on Add Chart Element and um, Chart Title, and um, or actually here Access Title and primary vertical and here you can write whatever you your dependent variable is memory performance and actually you can write whatever your dependent variable is could be um, IQ for example and that's it thank you very much for listening